Conquering Mount Scratmore with Brenda. I'm Brenda and it's Free Pattern Friday. Yay! It's Free Pattern Friday. I love Fridays. I've been retired for almost 10 years now and I enjoy Fridays most of all because it's usually the start of a fun weekend ahead. Now, the block we're going to do today is called Keyhole. Now, there's a bunch of variations out there and I'm going to explain what people can do with their variations or how to make different variations, but we're using a light, a medium, and a dark for this to make this this block work out really well but first we got to do our shout outs we got to do our shout outs it's always a good thing to do now when we're filming this i have just found this woman and it was re referred to me by a viewer so if some of you some of you know that there is a youtuber out there doing quilting stuff please drop me an email or send me a message on the facebook site or you know however just to let me know because i'm happy to give people that you are watching a shout out um, her name is Mar Marcel and at Stol Soul Stitchery. Now her YouTube link is going to be in our show notes below along with our Zoom so dates. Now the Zoom link is there for people that e everywhere, like everywhere in YouTube land that are watching, they're allowed to come to the so date and it doesn't matter that they're not working on quilting. They can bring their cross stitching or crocheting or whatever they would like to bring. It's all good. Uh, and please bring things that are inspiring you. You know, you don't have to bring stuff that I've shown you on the channel. I want to see what's inspiring you and talk to you about it. So the other thing you're going to find in there is our Facebook group. Now our Facebook group is growing rapidly. We're having all sorts of fun in that virtual sewing room. Uh, we have several community chats and, and fabric swaps and we're now started a recipe link. You know, like the recipes that are good to start in your crock pot so you can sew all day those kind of recipes I just love and we also do the call you know the sharing of pictures and projects and asking questions and taking polls and all that kind of fun stuff it's a warm welcoming group so if you're part of the Facebook community and you haven't joined us this would be your opportunity to join I'm also working on a collaboration and the collaboration is starting in July so that we've had our last meeting and it the, the one of the, not the last meeting but the the last meeting that we had we decided we would start in July now if that date changes I will let you know I am so excited about this collaboration that's coming up now it's Kelly from Kelly's quilts and cruises it's Michelle from bits and pieces and it's future cat from New Zealand and we are just having a blast we're working on each other's blocks and the rounds that we're doing it so the community or er, the theme is community and it, the blocks are gorgeous, just so lovely that we're using up. And we're also using our little bits and bobs. So keep your crumbs, keep your strings, keep, you know, it, this is one that you shop from your stash and it doesn't cost you anything. So, and that's something I am so looking forward to doing. So I think that's about all. Oh yes, I do speak for free for quilting groups and gills. I'm still going to continue doing that through 2024 I am having such a good time doing that and I am meeting so many amazing quilters like yourselves that I'm just having too much fun not to do that anymore so and I think I bring something to the table about working with your scraps so come on in let's get to this sewing okay we're at the sewing machine and there's a few variations now I said dark mediums and lights but the reality is you could make one like this, one block like this with a, you know, a dark and a medium. And then the other block would have, you could eliminate the, the low volume, right? Just by cutting three of these instead of two, right? So, and that's another way. Now there's also where in this block four, squares two and a half inch squares would fit in this place so if you wanted to make you know four different colored squares in here other than let's say blue right I mean you could do that too and you could do them on both of them just as long as you have a common round right so I mean it, there's a bunch of different ways you can do keyholes there the one that's really popular is where you have four six and a half inch by two and a half inch and then there's three in the middle right but I decided I want a 12 and a half inch block because then I can just sew up all my 12 and a half inch orphan blocks and make a quilt. 
So this is what we're doing. Now, we always start with the hard part first. And the hardest part about this walk is figuring out which is the hard part because there are no hard, hard parts really. So what we're going to do is we're just going to grab two from the far left side and start sewing. And find my foot pedal. And do a quarter inch seam. So basically this is like two blocks put together so that's nice okay and there we go now if you need to test your quarter inch seam doing this when you're doing three of these together once you get them all pressed once you do all three of them this should measure six and a half across, right? So if your quarter inch seam is a little out, they will either be too short or too big. So this is a good time to adjust your quarter inch or check your quarter inch seam. Because that, that will throw your block out. Yeah. Okay. And get this on here. I really like this print. I didn't have much of it, but I had just enough, just enough to make this block. I think I had one piece that was uh, two inches, two inches by three and a half or something. A couple of pieces and that was it when I was done. This is a really good, fast, quick weekend quilt, right? So that's why I decided, okay, we'll present this one today. So here we go. I'm just finger pressing to the dark. Okay, there's no, no lines to meet up, no nothing. So we just take one. And now this piece should be is six and a half by two and a half. So it should cover perfectly. Yes, it does. Now I'm gonna sew so my seams don't flip. I can put my seams in the right spot where they need to be. And again, press to the dark. There we go. Yeah, this blue and white low volume is really pretty too. I thought when I saw that, it was like I saw that in the quilt store and it was only a fat eighth. And I thought, oh, I must have this. This is just too nice. A check is always, we, we forget about adding checks into our work. Because usually it's, you know, your plaids, your stripes, your polka dots, your botanicals, your florals, you know, if you think of fabric that way, we always forget checks are important. If you get a good check, that's the one you, if you see a good check, that's usually picking it up. Okay. And now, here we go. Okay. And again. Yeah, like I say, perfect weekender quilt. You know, because... Okay, go make sure everything lies nice and flat. Okay, last piece before the final seam. See, you could just do a bunch of these and then start sewing them together too, right? I mean, and that would that would look good. So, okay. Get it started, line it, match it up, make sure the seams are going flat and nothing flips. If nothing flips, the block lies absolutely perfectly flat. And now we want to plug through. Okay, here we go. There, and we do that. Now the only thing you're going to have the, these kind of meat, but you can't really see them. So it's just, you know, put one on top of the other. Don't, don't get panicky at this point. It's supposed to be fun hobby and you are not take it seriously. And then you match up the bottom and you just put your best. You do your best. That's all. That's all. It'll look fabulous once it's filtered. If you missed your point or nothing or seams across, nobody's going to know because you're using the same fabric all the way around the keyhole. Okay? And now, what I do with that middle seam 
is I press open because it reduces the bulk here, right? So it reduces that bulk there. So I, it's kind of easier for me to just press it open. And I press it open with my fingernails first, right? And I get it all ready for a quick, fast iron. And this block is done. And it measures 12 and a half by 12 and a half. So this individual blocks are six and a half by 12 and a half. Now, now when you're doing your lay, I'll show you in the ta-da moment how you would lay these blocks out in a quilt. Okay, so this is it. This is our big ta-da moment on keyhole. Now, remember, you can change these so you only use two colors, like a, you know, a lighter color or a light and a dark, but make sure you cut like a, a three, eight and a half by two and a halfs and put your dark, the one dark in here and the medium in here. The other way you can do this, you put four different colors, uh, two and a half inch squares in here, and it would make a lot of interest in a block. The other th way of doing it is you take, um, you cut four, six and a half by two and a half inch strips, but this now is only six and a half inside as a strip, or three two and a half inch squares. Now, these are all keyhole blocks, so you can have a lot of fun playing around with these and just have a blast. So, this is one of those blocks where it's a lot of fun to just play around. Now, with this block, how I would lay this block out is I would do one this way and then the next one beside it go this way. And then back and forth like that. Because now it breaks up all of that uh, pattern and it looks kind of like a a basket weave, right? It kind of gives a basket weave effect where one's going this way and the other one's going that way. So I do hope you give this one a try. I'll try and remember to put all the other cutting instructions down below so that you have some, gives you guys some options for this because I don't know what size scraps you're playing with or what strips you've got left over from your two and a half inch strips of your jelly rolls. So I hope you have an absolutely amazing week ahead and that everything is going your way. And you take care until we see each other again, okay? All right, bye! My husband and I would love to thank you for watching in, uh, our video and being so supportive of our channel. This has been just such an amazing journey we're on here on YouTube. And we just, we wouldn't been able to do it without you. So our thanks, truly our thanks for you. If there's anything you need, don't be afraid to contact me either through the Facebook book or through email. I, uh, I'm trying to do as many viewer request videos as possible. And if I don't do it, you, you need to remind me. Okay. So that's not a problem, <laughs> but yes, it's been just absolutely amazing. Tell, make sure you tell your gills I speak for free. I, you know, we have a Facebook group. We do Zoom so dates. And we're, we give out nothing but free patterns. So I hope that you have an absolutely joyful year ahead. And your sewing room, everything is going for you. And life is great. Okay, you take care until we see each other again. Okay, bye.